Hello friends, back here again with some more mail. It's amazing how I thought I had uh, stopped bidding on things on eBay, and yet things still roll in. So either they're behind their shipping, or I'm ordering things in my seat. Uh, some of these may have been while we were on our vacation. Oh, hold on a second here. Oh, this is from Tops Fulfillment. Ooh la la. Saw the tops there. Wait, wait, hang on now. So that's one of two things. Okay. So, uh, Buck O'Neill recently got added to the Hall of Fame. So I got myself a Buck O'Neill card. That was a limited availability. And I think they're a limited print run too, which we'll see here in a minute. But I've also won uh, a couple of cards from the home run challenge so that's the other thing i'm expecting from tops Oof, really in there I'm not gonna come out the way i want it to it's okay i got a lot of this stuff here we go and there it is buck o'neill national baseball hall of fame tops now it's a nice little case for it is that sealed you can't tell there we go Yep, it's a good picture of him. So we're gonna put that in a nice uh, protective case. I guess it's already in a nice protective case, but in one that will file easier with my other cards. So here we go. Uh, cool. All right, moving down the list here. This is Swift Post from Buffalo, New York. I remember to write a date on that one, but I've been kind of bad about the other ones. I think it's. Uh, because I was like, gone on vacation, so I got kind of out of the groove. I haven't even been in a lot of live streams lately with other people. It's just, uh, you know, life's been busy. But my son is going off to college, so I've been pretty well focused on that. And not so much on the cards lately. Did enjoy the um, National uh, or International Baseball Card Day. Got some cool cards from that. Uh, Bridget won a hat. She got this... Uh, Kansas City baseball hat there. I also got a MU hat, which I gave to my son, who is, again, going to college. And, uh, yeah, a couple of the neat things is really protected. Let me at my prizes, please. Oh, there it is. Ah! Another Game of Thrones card. So it's sort of a really messed up handwriting there, but this is uh, Brianna of Parth, which is uh, one of the best characters from the show by far. If you uh, watch Game of Thrones, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Gwendolyn Christie, amazing actress. Really excited to have her autograph. Uh, kind of wished it had turned a little better, but still pretty dang cool. Um, in my last video, you saw I got a Sean B one, but it was all messed up. And the guy I bought it from an eBay is a total douchebag, so. Wouldn't issue a refund, wouldn't even talk about it. But luckily, eBay did right by me. Oh, more Game of Thrones stuff. So here's Cersei Lannister. A, uh, is it authentic piece of... Hmm. It doesn't say the words worn on set, but I'm hopeful that that's what that means. It shows pictures of her wearing it anyway, but... Uh, one of the most hated characters from the show. But uh, he's an actress, you gotta give her that. So this one is Sean Sullivan from the Umbrella Academy. It's interesting to me because I have a close family friend uh, and his son is named Sean Sullivan. So I picked that up because I wanted to give it to him. Uh, and I like the Umbrella Academy. Here we go. That is Vanya Hargrave, uh, which became Victor Hargrave in the most recent um, series, but that's uh, screen worn there, I believe. Peace worn, tear worn. Uh, what just says worn? It doesn't say on screen. Hmm. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get the, the whole set of them. I still need, so there's seven um, kids that make up the Umbrella Academy. And I have all of them, but four and five now. So they are uh, notoriously difficult to get just because everybody wants them. So, you know, I think they're in more shows. So, you know, people that uh, maybe like them for Umbrella Academy are competing with people that like them from other shows. That's okay. We'll get there. Oh, oh here we go. This is uh, what I was talking about with those other ones. Interesting. And there we go. They're kind of all taped up in there. But yeah, they're in. There we go. That's Diego. He would be number two. And Allison. She would be number three. 
So she's known as the rumor. She could say, I heard a rumor and say something. And it's sort of like mind control. Uh, Diego here could sort of like bend physics, which uh, he uses to be very, very good with a knife. Kind of like an assigned killer. Luther, he's number one, sort of the de facto leader, at least in the beginning. Sort of becomes a goofball towards the end. But he's really strong, also known as Space Boy. He actually has the body of a space gorilla, which is sort of wild. So let's put him in a new order there. One, two, three, and... Oh, here, I skipped six. Ben Hargrave. He's sort of got, like, uh, Cthulhu powers, and he has these, like, uh, weird tentacles that kind of, like, come out. And pretty wild. And then there are seven, so, yeah, so we just need four and five. And then this is Umbrella Academy related, but sort of uh, an oddball one. And this is, um, who is it? It's one of them. Oh, it's number five when he's old. Which, you know, in the movie, played by an actor that's really young. But he, in the canon, he's older than the rest of them. And the last thing we have to open for today is... Oh, what the heck is this? A hey, Brad Pitt... Uh, thing. I don't even remember picking that up. I'm telling you about, man. Things just sort of show up here. But uh, a Prop Century wardrobe insert card from Leaf Trading Cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like Brad Pitt. He's cool. So uh, there we go. Now I do have one more envelope up here that I haven't scratched the names off, but uh, I will say that it is from Mr. John Rademacher. Um, and uh, it is addressed to Dave and Bridget Folder. Bridget is currently on a sleepover at a friend's house, so I didn't feel right opening that one. So uh, that one's going to wait. I have high hopes on what it is, because I know John's got some skills, and uh, we will see what that turns out to be. Uh, Steve, I got some stuff I'm saving for you here, brother, including um, some cards from International Car Training Card Day. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if I didn't show you guys this already, I picked this up at Coopertown. Uh, I was there shortly after the 2022 induction, and uh, it's got some fake simile autographs on here, including Mr. Buck O'Neill, which is why I picked it up, and uh, got it in this nice little case. I also picked, recently picked up a Brady Singer autograph, baseball, which I'm very proud of, and things are just falling off because I'm stacking them. But that's, uh, that's it for today, guys, so uh, no big plans coming up. Um, got to get my son off to college and then we'll probably try and get back into the groove of things and, uh, share this lovely hobby we have with everybody. I hope you all are doing well and I appreciate you tuning in. Take care, my friends. Peace out.